Okay, I went to the gym and came home, and I have two pheasants set hatched out. And they are resting, but they're pretty alert. When they hear me, they start looking around for their mother. Beep, 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 beep. They're still in the incubator. Temperature is about 100 degrees. 68% relative humidity. And these guys will just sleep for a little bit till they dry off. There's all their brothers and sisters waiting to hatch if the eggs are fertile. Oh, wake up, guys. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. There's more. So far, she's laid about 23 eggs, this hen. Little pheasants, little pheasants, wake up. Hey, good morning. Oh, good morning. Okay, I'll let you rest. These guys have been incubating 24 days yesterday. They cracked their shell yesterday. One little crack. And that was it. Until this morning, they're 24 hours later. They hatched out. So it went from a crack, a little chip, you can see one way back there, so it has a little chip, to here's the egg. That completely, well, they just came out at one time. It wasn't the pecking a little bit, pecking a little bit, pecking a little bit. They just went from a, a chip to a broken egg, from what I hear. I wasn't here. I was unfortunately working out at the gym. Thinking I had time.
resting on each other. Oh, they heard me. They're perking up again. I did pick one of them up and held it in my hand so it would uh, bond with me. Imprinted. I imprinted that I was its mother. So... These little chicks probably think that I'm its mother now. These are ringneck pheasants. I will probably let these guys go out in the wild. several of these eggs I had left out with the hen in my coop and uh, she never brooded them so I started bringing them in so the first ones I might have left them out too long might have been more than 10 12 days And um, the second batch of eggs, after I collected those, she went ahead and laid another batch of eggs, about 10 or so, and I left them out for her to brood, and she did not, so I took those in. And she is now laying more. She has two more. So she's up to 23 eggs. So this is my first time incubating pheasants or any kind of egg and uh, watching them hatch and I have a homemade incubator it's just made out of uh, particle board and did a pretty nice job on it put a window in it with an old picture frame, got a lever or a handle, two latches. I've got a just a box. And it hinges open. Put a little bit of foil there. Keep the heat from burning the top. And 
there's a heat porcelain bulb in there, porcelain socket with a reptile bulb, 50 watt bulb is all it took. A 50 watt bulb keeps it at about 100 degrees if I keep it covered. Sometimes I have to put a little sweater on top of it because it is not insulated. And the whole thing cost me the bulb and the socket and the box, some scrap wood cost me about eight bucks. And the thermometer that I bought, the digital, you can see the probe for the temperature and the sensor for the humidity. That guy cost me about 22 bucks. This is light that's the one and then I went into the pet store and purchased those other two cheapos just for comparison and they are a couple degrees off in temperature and relative humidity my digital says 64 and the cheapo says just over 50 so quite a difference there, but the temperature is not too different. And that's it, man. It was pretty easy to do. I keep a cup of water and a sponge to keep the humidity up, um, which I have to watch now that the chicks are born. I don't want them falling in there, so I'm going to cover that up today. And we'll be taking those chips, chicks out of here tomorrow morning and putting them in a homemade brooder box. So that's it. For the newborn pheasant chicks. This is Dominic with his world's best hunting dog, Dozier. Looking at the pheasants, Dozier. What are you doing, pup? Oh, he's waking up. Did you see the new pheasants? Oh, he saw them. Look. There they are. There they are. Whoa, pup. Signing off.